how to farm the scav boss on woods stormen in an efficient and safe way that's the topic of today's video dear comrades i have the german respect for guys and today we have another scav boss guide in this video we are talking all about the legendary sturman from woods sturman is one of my most Storm favorite down. scav bosses out there because he is quite simple sometimes a bit challenging and i like woods so why do you want to farm sturman the first thing he can have a red rebel he can have some red key cards you can get his key in almost every time and you can open up the crate and get some red rebel key cards and stuff out of this crate you can get some key cards which you can sell immediately and of course you can sell the key for about 190,000 rubles straight on the market or as I said, you can gamble a little bit. Comrade, wait for a second. I guess you're new to this channel. If you want to be a better gamer and if you want to improve your own game experience, subscribe to this channel. We are going to help you with our videos and you shouldn't miss them anymore. Furthermore, you need Sturman for the Hunter mission. Unfortunately, I don't get my kills on Sturman before this quest and Sturman is really crowded right now. And on the first day, we get a couple of uh, bugs with this quest right now it's working so and after you finish the quest you get a lot of ruble you can get the 338 you can unlock it you get a pro kill and the last reward was a weapon case if i'm right so let's talk about your loadout first of all as always i would cover up my bright face get some gssh military headset because sometimes he is yelling around so he also has two guards two brothers and those guards are yelling around a lot they are running around a lot and you want this information and last but not least, I like this door kicker boonie hat. And, but of course you can wear anything you want. For the armor, I would run a level four rig because you are a little bit faster, because you can have a bad spawn, which is really big. And it's right now, as I said, a little bit crowded because of those Sturman kills. And that's why I would go with such a rig or with the paratrooper armor or whatever you want. But as I said, runner armor because he will more often shot you in the thorax or in the stomach instead of giving you a straight headshot. In this wipe, I didn't looted any VSS or a well from the guards, so maybe they don't have it anymore or very, very rare. But that's the thing, runner level 4 armor, level 5 if you want, but you're fine with level 4. For your weapons and that's a big thing you can kill Sturman and his guards in two ways so the first way is a little bit safer but if you're doing it wrong it can kill you quite fast because Sturman is much more effective the greater the distance to you is so and that's why you can use something like 308 semi or fully automatic you don't need fully automatic like some semi automatic or bolt action 308 and better like m80 m62 i would go for m80 because sturman has no armor you can run a svd you can run 338 all of that stuff you can even run a 556 but i would go for m80 because you can one shot headshot him quite easily uh, sometimes you can or i did a fragmentation kill with m9 and 3 so a lot of funny stuff can happen because Sturman has no armor and that's the thing. And that's why you can run a very, very aggressive strat against him with some SMGs. Why some SMGs? Because in my opinion, very underrated is Green Tracer. Green Tracer has a little bit less penetration, not that much, but also a little bit more damage. That's why Green Tracer is very effective if you know your opponent has less or no armor. And especially if you're shooting some MP5 or whatever with Green Tracer, you can can see immediately where your bullets are so that's why i like green tracer a lot especially early by but pst is also great you can also run ap63 because guards have armor and player that's why my first mech is like a 30 round ap63 or 7 and 31 mech and i'm switching to a 50 round drum mech with some green tracer if, if i'm facing sturman of course you can run mp7 mp9 p90 of course i did a couple of clips that you can see what i mean with a very aggressive approach furthermore you can also use a guild 40 it's very strong against almost every scav boss scavs or even cheetah but that's a top for another video enough of the talking let's jump into the raid so where can you find Sturman? Sturman is around this sawmill area, especially in red and gray hall and if Sturman would be alive and in this area i would have been dead already so what that means is that you really have to be careful if you're playing on a certain distance if you want to kill him on a certain distance furthermore he can be in this 
wooden shacks he can be literally in one of them and you can really aggressively push him down and that's a big struggle for Stürmen. furthermore Stürmen can be literally right in front of you behind or between this wooden barriers or sitting right here Stürmen is one of these scav bosses he's running around from you because he wants to kill you on a certain distance and, why, and that's why a very aggressive playstyle against him is very effective but as I, as you can see in the video you can snipe him down quite easily if you are approached from this side of the gray hall you can literally shoot him straight if he's staying in the gray hall and on the beginning of the round he is very often right in front of the gray hall with his guard so these are positions where you can hunt him down quite easily because the gray hall is very bright inside and you can get him from the other side of the gray hall you have the duffel mountain i call it the duffel mountain because the duffel bag is right here and you can kill him very fast because sometimes as i said he's close to the first red hall to the middle red hall or behind the gray hall Furthermore, from this Duffel Mountain, you can shoot some players or whatever. And if you go a little bit behind into the forest behind the Grey Hall, you can kill him if he's close to the wooden barricades or between the Grey and the Red Hall or behind the Grey Hall. These opportunities are one of the best if you want to snipe him down. Of course, you can go on the Sniper Mountain and kill him. But my favorite method is a very aggressive playstyle with some SMGs. In this video I used MPX because it's underrated, cheap and I can shoot Green Tracer. You saw them right here, it's the beginning of the round and you can see they are running away, they try to get you down from a certain distance and Sturman is sitting right in front of me and as you can see he's shooting once, he did me in the arm and I survived this quite easily and he's down with Green Tracer in the head. As I said he is not wearing any armor this clip is with a Saiga 19, AP 6 free rounds and you saw it in the beginning. We are going very aggressively from behind the Grey Hall into the Grey Hall to check where he's located at. But as I said, Sturman has a big problem handling very aggressive playstyles and if you're pushing him, he's struggling a lot. That's why I would recommend push him if you can, try to have some cover between you to not get too tapped or shot at right here. You, you can see why armor is very good. I got, I got shot from a scav. He was right behind me, one of the followers from Sturman. But same thing, you can just push them down quite easily, especially with the P90, 50 rounds, very effective. And Sturman is right here, he's running around again. He's running away in the open and you can get him down and keep some cover in between you and Sturman, of course, and some guards. Sometimes the guards are even more effective than Sturman. But as you can see right here, no problem with some fully automatic, very precise shots and they are all down. Sometimes they have the Juke level 6 armor or some Fort armor, I never saw the Fort armor on them. And as I said, Sturman is completely blank, he has no armor, so perfect for SMGs. And that's why I would recommend go with some SMGs or some fully automatic weapons and push him down. Of course, after this clip, we will continue with some long range shots against Sturman. But sometimes it can be a little bit tricky because if he has his very good aim lock, it's a little bit frustrating sometimes, but that's Sturman. You will go down very rarely, in my opinion, if you do everything right. So, and right here you can see the crate from Sturman, this little launch box, in my opinion, and you can see the loot. The clean, the fire cleans right now, very expensive, but the other stuff, it's okay. But I would recommend sell the key for 190,000 straight on the flea market. It's still a lot of fun to make some long range shots against Sturman because I like sniping on woods and it's perfect scav boss for a perfect map in my opinion. And you can do some long range shots with the right caliber M80 Sturman and above. Down. It's very easy to hunt Sturman and his guards down, especially with a good scope. So the following scope, which you can see right here, is just for a mission. To complete the mission, oh, it's oh, not oh. recommended to use it on woods. But as you can see right here, the position, they killed Sturman, but you can see how easy it is to kill something inside of the Grey Hall. So I hope we could help you with farming Sturman a little bit easier and more efficient. And guys, don't forget, if you like the video, show the world that we Germans can do at least something. And if you like, I would appreciate it that we can show it to the world out there. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.